my dear students in this video we will discuss creation of a singly linked list by continuously inserting elements at the beginning that is let us see the operation of creating a singly linked list by continuously inserting the elements at the beginning of the list yes initially start is equal to null because the list will be empty so what is initial value of start null let us insert 24 at the beginning of the linked list right now there is no linked list at the beginning means we have to create a new node let us create a new node which is pointed by p yes this is the new node which is pointed by p so how to insert 24 p of info is equal to 24 yes the info part of p is 24 and the address part of p should become equal to null yes so we have created a node with 24 and start should contain the address of this node yes start should contain the address of this node so we have inserted 24 at the beginning of the list very good we have created a new node start was null therefore we created a new node and start is containing the address of this new node with the information 24 now let us insert 37 at the beginning of the list 37 if it has to be inserted at the beginning of the list it has to be inserted before 24 therefore we create a new node which is pointed by p yes so we have created a new node which is pointed by p and we should in, we should put 37 into this node yes 37 and now carefully understand the address part of p should not be null instead the address part of p should contain the address of the next node which is pointed by start therefore p of next is equal to start yes p of next is equal to start very good we have connected start should not contain the address of 24 instead start should contain the address of 37 therefore we change start yes start will contain the address of 37 now 37 also is inserted at the beginning of the list very good now let us insert 16 at the beginning of the list so 16 if it has to be inserted at the beginning of the list it has to be inserted before 37 therefore we create a new node which is pointed by p very good and the information should contain information part of this new node should contain 16 the address part of the new node should contain should be pointing to start meaning p of next is equal to start yes connection is established very good 16 is connected to 37 now start should not contain the address of 37 instead start should contain the address of 16 therefore move start start is equal to p yes yes now start is equal to p so the start will contain the address of the first node yes 16 is also inserted properly at the beginning of the list now we have created a single linked list with three elements 16 37 and 24 and start is containing the address of this list quite simple quite simple uh, logic now let us discuss the same operation from programming aspect yes we shall create a single linked list by continuously inserting the elements at the beginning of the list yes initially the single linked list is empty that is start will be equal to null start is equal to null fine let us go on inserting the elements until we get an element minus 999 meaning you go on inserting the element into the linked list whenever we want to stop the creation of the linked list we have to enter minus 999 so the element minus 999 is used to stop the creation let us see the operation now scanf item let us read the value of item first item is 10 now while item is not equal to minus 999 you should create the linked list when item is equal to minus 999 you should come out of the while loop meaning we are stopping the creation of the linked list now 10 is not equal to minus 999 therefore create a new node yes we have created a new node which is pointed by p how to write the equivalent programming statement i think all of you know this p is equal to struct node star malloc size of struct node yes we have created a new node pointed by p and what should be p of info yes i think we will go to the insertion logic of there we will do it we will go to the insertion logic this is the insertion logic here in the insertion logic first we check whether start is equal to null or not in our case now there is no linked list just we have created a new node now but before this there was no linked list therefore start is equal to null yes start is equal to null yes start is equal to null so when start is equal to null what actually we have to do p of info is equal to item yes 10 should be inserted 
equivalent statement is p of info is equal to item very good and p of uh, address part of p should be equal to null that is p of next is equal to null yes p of next is equal to null and who should contain the address of this node start should contain the address of this node therefore start is equal to p yes in the programming statement also start is equal to p anything else to be done nothing everything is done that's all if start is equal to null we do three operation we insert the information part address part we make null and start will contain the address of this new node that's all so now insertion is done again we should scan one more item we should read one more item 20 we have read 20 now item value is 20 now again go back to the while loop 20 is it equal to minus 989 or not equal to minus 989 20 is not equal to minus 989 therefore again create a new node which is pointed by p yes we create a new node which is pointed by p after that go to the insertion logic now in the insertion logic if start is equal to null now is start is equal to null no start is not equal to null because start is containing the address of the node 10 start is not equal to null therefore you should come to the else part yes else part now you only tell what actually we have to do first uh, p of info should be stored with item that is p of info is equal to item 20 now p of next should be connected to the next node that is p of next is equal to start yes p of info is equal to item we have done p of next is equal to start yes that connection p of next is equal to start equivalent statement in the program next start should not contain the address of 10 instead start should contain the address of 20 we have to change start yes start is equal to p that's all that's all the logic very simple so insertion logic is over again read one more item 30 so go back to the while loop what is the value of item now 30 30 is it equal to minus 989 no 30 is not equal to minus 989 therefore create a new node which is pointed by p yes again go to the insertion logic start is it equal to null no start is not equal to null start is containing the address of 20 therefore then part or else part else part so p of info is equal to item yes 30 will come here p of next is equal to start so node 30 will be connected to 20 yes p of next is equal to start okay then start is equal to p start will come to the previous one. that is start is equal to p start will contain the address of the node 30 that's all insertion logic is over again read one more item now item is equal to 40 again go back to the while loop 40 not equal to minus 19 yes 40 is not equal to minus 19 therefore create a new node which is pointed by p yes we are creating a new node which is pointed by p again go to the insertion logic start is it equal to null no start is not equal to null therefore what you have to do else part so p of info is equal to item item is 40 therefore p of info is equal to 40 p of next is equal to start yes 40 is connected to 30 and start is equal to p yes we have to change the value of start start is equal to p that's all insertion logic is also over next again we should read one more item now item is minus 989 again go back to the while loop item is it equal to minus 999 yes item is equal to minus 999 so should we continue the while loop or should we come out of the while loop no we should come out of the while loop yes when we come out of the while loop the linked list is created start will contain the address of the linked list and also carefully understand now whenever you enter an element the element is inserted at the beginning of the linked list okay so we are creating a single linked list by continuously inserting elements at the beginning that is the logic here and also another observation the you you go to the insertion logic uh, focus on the insertion logic if start is equal to null then part will be executed only once only once at the beginning in all the cases else part will be executed now in this in our example four elements are inserted then part is executed only once three times else part is executed if we are inserting 100 elements then part will be executed only once for all the remaining 99 cases else part will be executed that's how it is i think uh, the logic is very simple and straightforward now directly we shall go to the function See, the name of the function is create SLL beginning, meaning create a singly linked list by continuously inserting the elements at the beginning. What is the return type? Return type is a pointer of the type structure of the type node. Yes. 
Now here, we initialize start equal to null. The initial value of start is equal to null and also we take a temporary pointer P. Int item, yes, we require item. Enter the elements. We are printing a message, enter the elements. To stop, enter minus 99. Just now we saw in the logic, whenever we want to stop the creation, we have to enter minus 99. So scanf item, yes, we get item. Next, you have to check whether item is equal to minus 99 or whether it is not equal to. If it is not equal to, enter the while loop. Item is not equal to minus 99, yes. What we have to do, create a new node. Just now we understood the logic. And after that, insertion logic. If start is equal to null, yes. P of info is equal to item. P of next is equal to null. And start is equal to P. Else, P of info is equal to item. P of next is equal to start. And start is equal to P. That's all insertion logic. After the insertion logic is over, again you have to read the item. Scan F item. So that is the end of the while loop. So when you come out of the while loop, when the creation is over, you have to return the value of start. That's all the function. That's all the function. So it is quite simple. Uh, I think you should be able to easily manage this logic.